Okay, um, I'm back with the next tutorial. Um, what we're going to do now is we've installed WAMP server and shown you a couple of things with that. The next thing I wanted to show you that is that what you can do is you can click put online, right? And then your web server will be visible to other computers that are connected to the same network. So right now, if um, if I type in if I type in localhost, I get my hello world page, right? But what I could do is I need to start run. I'm going to go start run, and I'm going to type in cmd and open up a command prompt and then inside the command prompt I'm going to type IP config and see what my IP address is. Okay, so it gives me my IP address right here. It says Ethernet, wireless, my IP address is 192.168.2.115. Alright, well a student here in the lab, his IP address, he put his IP address and he um, he installed WAMP server and he put it online, he clicked put online, and now what I was able to do is I was able to type in his IP address, his IP address is 10.2.41.58 and hit refresh and I was able to see his web server, he put here I like apples um, this is Josh, he's here in the lab so I know that his web server is working and I'm able to communicate it with it here at the college network he's actually serving web pages across the college network to um, and I can see his pages right so that's pretty cool so what you could do is same thing all you need is your IP address right and then go to another computer on your network at home or something like that and type in that IP address right 192. see mine is uh, 192.168.2.115 192.168.2.115 right and it also comes up with my IP address, not just the word localhost. Okay, so that's how you could communicate with. Um, you could see your web page on on your network. So that's kind of handy. All right, next thing. Next thing we're going to do is when we installed this, um, it's designed. WAMP server is designed as just a test server. It's not designed to actually be a real web server uh, on in public one reason is it's not locked down okay and especially like MySQL there is the root privilege the root user for MySQL server has no password so I'm going to show you how you could um, add a little more security by adding a password so I'm going to go to PHP my admin alright and make this smaller so you can see it alright and then I'm going to go to privileges okay and then down here at privileges you'll see root right and it says root localhost and I can just click on this right here edit privileges right and you can see here now that I have this here I'll scroll down edit privileges scroll down and you'll see here it says change password and you can put password I can just gonna put in here my pass right and then that's my password my pass let's say and then once again my P A S S my pass right, and then hit go, and it gives you a reply. The password for root at localhost was changed successfully. Okay, so now I've changed the password, but now the next thing you do is you might get locked out of PHP my admin. Um, you will probably get locked out of PHP my admin right away once you've put in this password. So now what you have to do is another step. You've got to go to your directory. This is my root directory. I'm going to go up one folder and here's the WAMP server folder and I'm going to go in the apps folder. Apps. There's PHP my admin and in PHP my admin I'm looking for the file um, config.inc.php and I'm going to open this up and I can open it up with notepad or if you have an editor, you can open it up in an editor, right? I have the text really big here. And then right here, what you're going to do is you'll scroll down and you'll look for this line right here. 
that says dollar sign CFG config and then servers and then dollar sign I and then it says password and then right here equal it'll look like this with no password set right and then you'll just type in your password right here my pass hit file save right and and you're all good and so now when I already had this set so I didn't get locked out but now if you were to hit um, you know uh, back to home in PHP my admin you'll be able to connect to PHP my admin and not be locked out because now you've set your root password to MySQL so now PHP at my admin is able to contact the MySQL server and have access with your new root password and that's going to give you a little more protection instead of having a wide open MySQL database server right that's out on your network right and uh, you know somebody could hack it if, if, uh, if they wanted to um, once again this WAMP server is not meant to be an actual production server on the internet and uh, but it can be you just have to lock it down um, and this is one way that you would start to lock it down okay the other thing that um, well anyway I uh, hope that was helpful um, I'm gonna uh, hopefully that that worked if you had any problems please post it to dancecourses.com